One spring evening during our sophomore year, Chris and his friends came over to Connie's dorm in McCormick Hall to hang out for a bit. They were all nice, friendly guys. I didn't think too much of it, just a normal Tuesday, you know, whatever. But when they left, Connie was swoon. It was as if Harry Styles himself just left the room. She said, oh my gosh, Chris is so cute. And I said, really? <laughs> but it worked out for them, right? She was head over heels and there was no hiding it. I hadn't seen her so into someone like that before. Eventually, Connie and Chris started dating the next fall, and the rest was pretty much smooth sailing. But that first night will always stick out to me, because I'll never forget the spark that lit up in Connie when she first talked about Chris. Prior to that, Connie always used to say, but how do you know? She was this hopeless romantic, always wanting the answers. But after that first time of meeting Chris, she never really seemed to wonder anymore. Seasons that come and go And you wonder How we even made it this far Do you remember Remember this time Chris and Aaron have very similar values and priorities They come from strong families that they love and cherish They care about and nurture friendships spanning from elementary school to college and beyond Chris and Aaron both share a love of animals. Of course, dogs, especially one named Oliver. They also bring unique gifts into this marriage that provide balance. Chris is more extroverted than Aaron is while she is more quiet. Aaron makes quick decisions. Chris is admittedly indecisive at times in some things, but is very decisive in anything that has to do with Aaron. Aaron plans. Chris executes that formula I have seen from my parents who used it for 62 years. Together they make all our lives and the world a better place. A final point on Chris, he was infatuated from Aaron for the first time I met him and still is. He's a man of character, honorable, old school, and perfect for Aaron. We can't be happier for the two of them to start a new life together. Hi, Christopher. I, Aaron. Take you, Aaron. Take you, Christopher. To be my wife. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. How we even made it this far. I've been friends with Chris for going on 16 years now, starting back to the fifth grade. The biggest thing I take away from the 16 years so far is that whether we were 10 years old or we're in our mid-20s, you have always been true to yourself. You've always been passionate, driven, selfless. You're always a two-ear and one-mouth type person. And I know that that's why Aaron fell in love with him. When I think of the many things that I love about Connie, it's her beauty, her intelligence, and her kindness. She is sweet and loving. She cares for others and sees the good in people. I want to take a moment to express just how lucky Connie is to have found Chris. From the moment they met, it was clear that he's not just a perfect match, but a true partner for her. His kindness, warmth, and unwavering support have enriched her life in countless ways. As I've watched their relationship blossom and grow over the years, I've learned that together really is their best place to be. There are three essential commandments. Respect the elders, embrace the new, and encourage the impractical and improbable without bias. Please raise your glasses as we wish Chris and Aaron a long and happy life together filled with big dreams and great adventures. Together we are all here for you forever. Congratulations, we love you. Cheers. Do you remember, remember this time?
time Will you remember Remember this 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 time